This is the video summary for our paper titled Vector Fail-Based Volume Peeling for Multi-Access Machining. This summary does not include any mathematical formulations. Please refer to the paper for detailed description. Traditional rough machining uses planar 2.5D strategy to remove the excess materials. But due to the fixed direction of the tool and planar movement, shadow regions cannot be accessed and it also creates staircase effect. To solve it, multi-axis roughing has been developed, but the current methods are not easy to control to change the shape of the layers along which the material is to be removed. In this work, we saw a method to generate the layers for roughing which can easily integrate the user requirements as well as ensure manufacturability. Vector field based methods have many advantages in the interactive graphics systems, so we introduced it in the layer generation pipeline. At the same time, to be able to manufacture a product using the layers generated using the vector fields, some properties of the field needs to be controlled. In this work, we saw how the singularities and curl of the vector field is controlled to ensure manufacturability, which for our case is related to the accessibility of the tool as well as to prevent any intermediate floating material. We also provide a user interface for the users to easily introduce their requirements and modify the shape of the layers by introducing simple local constraints, which translate to a global shape. For the pipeline, we have a model H and a stock of material M. The difference between these is what needs to be removed. In the space of the removable volume, we introduce a vector field which is an interpolation of the user-defined directions at few sample points. After opening the vector field, we generate a scalar field whose gradient matches the vector field. Now, the isoscalar shades of the scalar field serves as the roughing layers. When the gradient of the scalar field equals the vector field, the vector field represents the normal direction of these layers at each point, hence allowing us to control the shape of the layers using the distribution of the vector directions. In this example, we saw our interface as well as the pipeline. The user selects a point in the domain and introduces a direction which is then interpolated to generate the vector field and then a scalar field, which is represented by the color of the points. This is then used to generate the layers, whose shape is then modified by introducing a few more anchor directions. Notice that the anchor directions point towards the normal of the surface at those points. As we saw here, by controlling the points of singularity, we can prevent potential collisions during machining as well as isolated volume of materials. Further, controlling the curl of the vector field prevents any undesired distortion in the layers as well as allows the vector field to accurately control this layer shape. Here we present the layers for the mannequin model. The cutting depth variation during the finishing shows the significant improvement in our case. Also, notice that our method produces the output very close to that of the target model. We also saw the result of the rough machining. In this example, we saw how the ability to modify the layer shapes can help in prevention of collision during the roughing. Here we saw the various stages of roughing the mannequin model. On the lower row, we present the machined models, the desktop level machine that we used, and also the verification by scanning the physical results. Here, we provide another example of generating the roughing surfaces for an impeller model. In this work, we have developed a volume peeling method for multi-access machining based on vector field. We have analyzed the properties of the vector field to ensure manufacturability. We have also provided a user interface to enhance the flexibility during the peeling process.